Now, what I want to talk about is, um, and, and, you know, I know some of this is very basic, and some of you, you know, may have automatic machines that adjust the web guide automatically, and, uh, you know, and you've got, or some of you know about how to do this. Uh, but for those of you who don't, I want to show you a way to um, calculate in anticipation and plan out how much you're going to move the web guide every time you change the width of, uh, of, the, of your substrate from one job to the next. Um, and uh, we're, so we're going to look at a couple of things about that, okay? So let's look at the board. All right. All right. Um, you know, in most flexo, there are sheet fed uh, flexo presses, by the way, folks. So this is for web operated presses, but um, all right. So you have a, a web, okay? And you have a guide over here, okay? Somehow configured. And now you may be looking at this up this way on a wide web machine, or you may be looking at it this way on a small machine. But let's let's look at that web, that, that guide right there, okay? Well, actually, let's look at this. All right. So now, at some point, you may be running one width, and then you, uh, you're going to finish a job, and you're going to run another width, right? Okay. So let's take just for example uh, that this is 24 inches. Okay. And we're running along, and we're running on 24-inch material. And now we're coming up to a job, and it's, it's uh, well, let's use a small, a small difference. It's one-inch difference, okay? So the next job is going to be 20, no, let's make it two inches so the math is easier. We're going to go to 26 inches, okay? So the next job, we're going to... Twenty-six inches. Okay. All right. Now, uh, in most cases that I've seen, presses are designed and set up so that most things reference the center line of your impression cylinder or your drum. And if you're in the case of a CI press, uh, and everything is on center. If you have dies, it, you, they usually the center of the die when your side to side adjustment is in center will fall in the center of uh, the machine and in the center of the uh, the uh, uh, impression cylinders and so on. Okay, so it's based on that, here's our center line. All right, now, and and I'm going to move our web guide this way so we can, you know, you you know the web guide. This is a one of the most common kind of web guides. Simply put, in a little. You got a couple of hoses somewhere coming into it. Air going, air coming, and air going, and there's a air exchange here that happens. Okay, air goes one way, crosses through here as a beam, and then when you move the material to it, if you're looking at a side view like that, the web guide and the uh, the assembly that moves the web guide rollers or roll um, tries to work to keep this material to that edge. Okay. Okay. Fine. All right. So now let's go back to the math part of this. We're going to go from a 24-inch web to a 26-inch web, right? If the material that we're at is 24 inch and we're going to a 26-inch web, the difference there, 20, uh, we can say 26 minus 24 is two inches. Now we take half of that divided by two equals one inch. So we're going to move one inch in either out or in. Well we're going from a 24 inch situation to a 26 inch situation. That means we're going wider so we're going what we usually say outboard or out. We're going to go one inch out that way. Okay? Alright. And a lot of you, like I said, that, that might be obvious too. 